congregation. So good evening. It's a party, so y'all can't be, you know, y'all gotta. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I appreciate y'all being here um, because this is going to benefit everybody. It's going to benefit everybody. And sometimes um, party training can be a challenge. So I just woke up one morning and I was like, we need to do a potty training party to see, you know, what we can do to help one another out to get these babies where they need to be, mm -hmm. um, to get them where they need to be. So we're going to get started, y'all. Um, I like to start everything with a prayer. I like to cover it, you know, make sure we cover it um, so we can bow our heads. Father God, we thank you so much for this opportunity, Lord Jesus, to... Help us to gain more knowledge on how to be better for our babies and help them to be the best they can be. I pray, Lord, the information that's given and received um, is something that's going to be helpful, useful, um, and be able to be passed on to help others when they go through this process and this huge hurdle in life called potty training. We thank you for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the guidance. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, y'all. We're not going to be here real, real long. Um, um, so I, I, I have a few notes here. So um, I don't know how many of you all know I mentioned my mom uh, did this when I was growing up. Uh, she she had she did child care. Um, so education and all of that was kind of bred in, bred in me um, from years, from my grandmother saying this is what I was going to do when I was five, all the way to my mom doing it, things like that. So um, we were uh, military. I'm a vet, my dad, my brothers. So we lived a military life. We moved around a lot. Yeah, we moved around <laughs> a lot. And my mom's uh, daycare career technically started when we were uh, she was a, a military spouse um, and they were dressed ooh, they were dressed right dressed that means they did everything you know and and civilian world does that too um, you know military versus civilian uh, they do it too in some aspects but she had an in-home daycare center for years um, and she used to be my lead teacher in the infant room for, for some time. And then my dad retired and she was like, I need to go with my man. And I'm like, you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they did. And I'm like, I wanted her to be here tonight, but they're in Columbus. Um, so I tried to get her to be here tonight and she couldn't be here. So she's here in spirit <laughs> and in knowledge because a lot of this comes from her. She did a potty training seminar. I can't even remember how old I was. I mean, maybe it had to be about 10 or 11. And she did a potty training seminar for the um, military child care providers. Um, and my son now is 32. I'm talking about this one being 30. <laughs> my oldest is 32. And he was our first <laughs> successful potty train client. <laughs> And the, the, the procedure, the process that was used then, we use the same thing now. Because um, if it's not broke, don't fix it. If it works, we don't work it. There's a few tweaks, a few changes that, um, that um, over kind of studying this and preparing that, you know, I'm going to tweak a little bit, some changes, because times change. Things, you know, still need what they need. They work how they work. This little fruit fly, whatever. Um, so, um, there'll be a little bit of tweaking, and I'm, I'll let y'all know what that change is. Not, you know, based on off of what Miss Sylvia McBride taught. Um, it'll be a little bit of change. Um, so, the first thing we want to do, you all, is what... The difference with potty training home and just being home and being in this type of environment, of course, it requires a team effort. It requires us to be on the same page as close as possible. Um, but the first thing we have to question and ask, are they ready? Are they ready? Because sometimes we get in this thing of, oh, they're a certain age and 
My nephew is doing it. My niece is doing it. My friend, her child is potty trained. And, and so we have to get away from that comparison thing. We can't compare them to another, even a, a sibling. We cannot compare them, even if it was two boys or, you know, um, but we want to make sure, we want to make sure that they are ready. Very important to make sure they are ready. I was saying the first thing we want to be sure of is, are they ready? We got to make sure they're ready. Um, and there's some questions that we have to ask ourselves as parents. Um, we have to ask ourselves, how are things at home? Meaning any changes, and that doesn't necessarily mean something negative or bad has happened. It means, did we just move? Are they at a new school? Are they at a new daycare? Is there a new baby in the house? Um, did the older sibling leave for college? You know, all kind of things. Because we have to remember they are people too, and they have stresses. They have emotions, they have feelings, they can get stressed out too. So we have to remember potty training is a major step in their lives. It is major. It seems minor to us because like we don't tired of paying for these pamphlets. And you know, I don't want to get out of these pull-ups. And it, but yeah, it's a process. So, you know, like I said, the first thing we have to do is just kind of ask the question, uh, is my baby ready? Um Another thing that I learned, you all, that can be can be uh, effective or have a negative effect is we have to realize their bladder size. We have to realize their bladder size. Um, everybody do like this for me. So imagine this is your baby's hand. So we can picture our baby's hand, right? Mm -hmm. How small it is. Mm -hmm. That's about the size of the bladder they got. Mm -hmm. They have. That's, that's about what it is. The bladder doesn't start growing and expanding more until they're about two to three years old. So we're talking from the time they born up until um, almost two, that that bladder is still teeny tiny. It's still small. And even more so to be able to even control that bladder. Because initially, the bladder just releases when it wants to. That's where they, the, the bowels, everything for them, it just releases. They're not even aware um, of that feeling. You know how some people be like, they know. They, they know what they're doing. And they, know, they knew they had the boo-boo. <laughs> Our babies are geniuses, I know they are. <laughs> but we have to remember developmental, developmentally. What are they really comprehending? And because they do a certain thing, usually children do things off a of reaction. They do it out of habit, out of response to how we are, what we say and what we do. And they respond to us. So if the response is um, negative, they're going to start reacting off of that. Meaning, okay, I wet myself, and mommy or daddy or auntie or grandma is, is going to react like this. So now I'm going to react like this. So they're not really comprehending why the reaction is. It's just like, well, I, if I get a spanking, I'm a, I don't want that. So they're aware enough and cognizant enough to know that that relates to a spanking. Um, in some instances, everybody does not do that. But I'm just, you know, making for an example. So let's do a positive one. If the opposite end is positive and there's not a neg negative reaction to it, same thing. Same thing. That's why we want to push positive phrases. That's why you want to tell your children what you want them to do and not what you don't want them to do. They take off running. I love this example. Because my mom made this example. It was crazy. She said I was in kindergarten. And the teacher had us lined up all nice. And you know, she was there doing a the parent day and we were lined up all nice. And she said, so when we get outside, we're gonna walk to the playground. And she opened the door and every last one of us just bust out, just took off as children do. And my mom said, she's standing up there cracking up. She just laughing. But from that, um, that example, I, it, it holds in my head when I hear it because 
Um, one thing my professor used to hone in on was tell children what you want them to do, even when they're doing something wrong. Because if you hone in on what they're doing, guess what they're going to do? They're going to respond with what they're doing. So if you hold in, so the example, they take off running, walk, walk. Most people will say what? Stop running! Stop running! And then babies are like, oh, she said run. Mm -hmm. she, she can say run. Why he say run? Well, he, he got that face. Mm -hmm. So they're going to run. So what we want to say to them is walk, walk, walk. Same example with a biter. If we have a biter. What we want to tell them is biting hurts, biting hurts, biting hurts. Don't you bite them? Don't you get cross and stop? Biting hurts, biting hurts. The more they hear it, the more they're gonna be. Well, wait a minute, that that's gonna make them cry. That's gonna. So everything is repetition with them, y'all. Everything is repetition. So are they ready? Are they ready? That blood size. Another thing that affects potty training at the beginning, constipation. We don't even think about that. Mm -hmm. We don't even think about this baby might be constipated. Um, so we got to think about their diet. Are we giving them enough liquids, enough uh, fiber-rich foods that's going to produce those healthy bowel movements that we know we all need to have? We all have to have. So. We already know if you constipated and they're pushing and they're pushing and nothing happening, then they locking up. Not only are they locking up their bodies, but they locking up this up here. It's like, I can't, you know. So we tell them, go, go, go. And we're guilty of it. We are guilty of it. We'll take them to the pod and be like, okay, go pee pee, go boo boo. <laughs> On demand? <laughs> you want me to do that because you said it? <laughs> That is not how it works. <laughs> but so many times we feel like we want to tell them and they're going to do that. And they're going to do that. This is a little part I was telling y'all that I'm that that I realized and learned it changed a little bit. Um, the potty training process, and we've said it before to previous families, we trying to go every 15 to 30 minutes. Who goes every 15 to 30 minutes? Like every 15, 30 minutes. Anybody have a urinate every 15 minutes? <laughs> right, right. Out, outside, we talk, so remember, we're talking about children and a healthy bladder. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, if you drink a lot of water, you're constantly going. If you have some health issues, you're constantly going. So we have to think about, let's think about the mind that they have a healthy bladder. How many people with a healthy bladder go every 15 minutes? Nobody. So what I learned was, because that's what we were doing. We were like, we take them every 15 to 30 minutes. Um, you know, we try to do a cycle. That was our, that's a part of our two-year-old room kind of thing with, with helping with potty training. They're going to be going. So when y'all take them home, make sure you, um, based on bladder size, Bladder expansion for a two-year-old, two hours is almost sufficient. Two hours. I was kind of blown away when I read that and when I, I heard that. I was like, okay, hey, that's, you know, you learn better, you do better. So two hours may be long for one child. An hour may be more sufficient for another child. But... 15 minutes, even 30 minutes, I've learned that it's too quick. It's too soon. Because all you're doing at that point is just catching mistakes. We don't want to catch mistakes. Now, we can turn a mistake into something positive and be like, oh, that was a mistake. Well, this is what you're supposed to do. But we're trying to get in the mindset of them doing what they need to do because they're starting to understand and comprehend. So we don't want to catch mistakes. We want to catch actually active doing it. It happening on purpose. It happening on purpose. So um, two to three year olds, one to two hours. If they, they go, they use the pot, wait, I would dare to say 45 minutes. 
and then tr let's go again. Let's 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 go again. I know she's like, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because that's not that's not how we've been doing the process. But again, um, and of course, you know, all this information. I want y'all to. I have a um, I have a um, a young lady too that I'm gonna share y'all YouTube. Um, share the YouTube channels with them. I mean, their YouTube channels with you all um, before we done. And then also, I'm going to share um, one of them. She's called the Mom Psychologist, mompsychologist.com forward slash potty quiz. There's a quiz, free quiz you're going to go to and do it for your child. And that will help you know if they're ready, if this is for them right now. This for them right now. Okay, y'all. So I'll move on. Um, so when you do take them, we're talking about now between 18 months and two years, the training process. But still, we got to remember bladder size. And we don't necessarily know, like, they fist ain't going to expand in a year. You know what I mean? They're not going to get majorly big. But as the bladder expands and gets larger, it gives them those... Um, it gives them the ability to be able to feel more and be able to control more. So we're talking, again, two or three years. Not that introduction, because this is talking about 18 to two years. Introduction, is nothing wrong with introduction, but the expectation has to be realistic. Um, there's this thing that we talk about in education called DAP, D-A-P, Developmentally Appropriate Practices. I, I love that phrase. I love that phrase. So everything you do with your child, you need to think that. Is this developmentally developmentally appropriate for my child? Because this two-year-old is doing this, but my two-year-old is not develop, developmentally appropriate. So anything, not just potty training, so, you know, y'all kind of use that. Dap, dap, dap. Is this, um, you know, developmentally appropriate? Um, focus time. So when they do go to the pot, when y'all take them, five minutes should be max that they sit there. Five minutes. Five minutes. Let me tell y'all why. After five minutes, a two or three year old is going to be so distracted. And I'm going to tell you, and, and this is a recommendation. I can't tell y'all what to do, but it's a suggestion, y'all. No devices. Cause I ain't gonna lie, we go in the bathroom, we have our cell phones, we be on all kinds of stuff, and we sitting there forever, and, and we yeah. talk, and sometimes we <laughs> use the bathroom. Yeah. We just on the devices. Think about a, a two year old. I'm gonna give you the phone or the tablet so you can be comfortable in there. Oh, they gonna be comfortable, all right. Then when Gracie gonna be like, <laughs> oh, I'm doing what? <laughs> It is. Right. Yeah. And they're not paying attention. They're not paying attention. They yep. They didn't know that. I'm glad I said that because we've been putting camera in the party for like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> At a time. Yeah. No, because it, it's just not. She's not going to learn the feeling she has to go through. Right. If she's sitting there that long. Because again, remember, we don't want to catch accidents. We want purposeful potty. Um, potty. We don't want to catch accidents. So you just put them on there. For like how long then? Five minutes. Five minutes, and then okay, you know, mm -hmm. twenty minutes. So I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm like, sometimes you use it, yeah, because by the time, <laughs> mine too, yeah, yeah, we we are, yeah, we are, we like, mommy, help! I'm like, you gotta use the top. Okay. No, mommy. right? Because now what you're doing, it's it's. Now it's a battle back and forth, yeah, and guess what? The focus has left. Like, he doesn't yeah. like it. There is yeah. no focus. Say that again. He doesn't like it. They right. don't like it. We don't want it to feel like punishment. Yeah. 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 We help don't want it to feel like punishment. Can I help when we're sitting with them? Because sometimes I'll sit in the bathroom with her for the 15 minutes. Yeah, I was doing that too. No, I'm like, come on. They're not, they not learning to and he like, my go. Go. The focus. So we have to remember. That we got to remember that. And remember their focus. Man, y'all should see us all day with Two, three, four, five, six, two-year-olds. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
<laughs> the focus. Yeah. yeah. They they which is our screen time. That's a whole nother class. That's a whole nother uh, talk, y'all. Screen time <laughs> should not be no more than what, Miss Lamb? None. 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 Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, if your child is not at least five years old, no screen time. And that's that the board. Includes what you're watching. That's the board of pediatrics that says that. Y'all know why? Because everything oh. moves so. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh. So, yeah, so their brains are doing yeah. what? I'm going to give you the example I give everybody. Think about Sesame Street. Back in PBS, when we watch PBS, those Bert come on the screen. Bert is on that screen for like 15 to 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Go to take your mind to uh, Paw Patrol. It goes like this. Mm -hmm. That little puppy come on the screen and then they go to the next one, then they go to the next one, then they go to the next one, and they bounce it back and forth. All that is doing is training their brains to take the information wow. in very very quickly and, and, they, retain, not and they don't retain yeah. so if they're not if y'all i don't know how many of y'all watch miss rachel miss rachel them, it, she be on there for 45 seconds yeah um she and she goes slow she speaks slow she is yeah. training their brains to take information in the way that it is going to be given right mm. yep. anything else trains their brain to go on hyperdrive Coco Melon has been Coco Melon has been banned in a few countries. I as of, like Coco Melon. As of right now, it's banned in a few countries. It's yeah. not only addictive, but it is causing. They're saying a lot of people are attributing it. I'm using quotes because it hasn't been. <laughs> yeah, let, let's quote. <laughs> a lot of people are attributing it to ADHD and autism. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. if the kids are not getting it the That's way right. that Coco Melon, because people were. All their kids were watching was Coco Melon, 24 7. If the kids are not getting it the way that Coco Melon was delivering it, they, they weren't taking it. Mm -hmm. So, Coco Melon is a no. I witnessed that. Check, um, just do a check on them. Coco Melon is a no. Ms. Rachel is about the best thing I found out there. If you have to do anything. Yeah, Ms. Rachel. And is good another good. suggestion um, if y'all have different plans, the bear in the big blue house. I was myself. I would challenge y'all to cut it out for two weeks and see what happens. Mm. Well, all of them. Everything. <sighs> Everything. <laughs> Louis, at most, I mean, I can just have it now. You know, you have to have a yeah. Which means, um, which means parents, y'all just going to have to get creative. Get creative and start doing stuff. Yeah. The thing is, you, America really loves playing with her toy. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. I want us to move on. <laughs> but, but yeah, just, again, you can research that for yourself. Screen time. How much screen time does whatever your age child is need and see what you find? Wow. Okay? What's recommended. And see what you find. What's recommended. So, again, five minutes on the pot. No more than five minutes. <laughs> and that focus. Like, it, it doesn't have to be a whole lot going on. Because remember, it's five minutes. So, you want them to focus on that five minutes to what they're doing. And if they don't do anything, come on, five minutes. That time in between, trying them again, the least 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. The least 45 minutes. But we got to give them time to even build up something. Yeah. So so when you're home during the day, like on the weekends, um, let them drink. Cut drinking off at a certain time. But let them drink. And, and, and let them build up that bladder. Another thing, don't ask them if they want to go buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that for you. I like that for you. Like, no. <laughs> don't ask them. Like, no. Like, no. <laughs> I say, yes, I'm going to go buy it. Yeah. Don't ask them. If I ask a question, you going to get a no to. Play or pee? <laughs> right. I got a question. When it comes to drinking, no. What's the latest time they should be? Should it depends be. on their bedtime. Okay. I would say stop an hour, an hour and before. An hour and a half, yeah, an hour to an hour and a half before, depending on where you are in potty training. But of course, you want to, you know, let that be um, the second to the last thing. Um, I said second to last because the last thing I do before I lay it down is I pray. <laughs> <laughs> so pee and pray. <laughs> Go <to> sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah so ask him you know you don't ask the question don't even ask him don't even ask him 
The caveat to that is you're not asking them to go. You're letting them know, okay, it is, it's, it's potty time. We're going to go potty. And we're just going potty. We not go, well, why? Come on. You can play when you get back. Are you asking when it's time to clean up? Oh. <laughs> are you ready? Are you want to clean up now? Yeah. 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 They're, they're, again, developmentally appropriate when we ask them those questions. I wrote this down, y'all. It's literally on the page. Calm down, mom and dad. <laughs> I will tell y'all what that means. They feed off of us. Yeah. Calm down. Because children want attention no matter what it is. If you ever known a family or a child or situation where the child is being abused, mm -hmm. have y'all ever seen a family or situation, whether you heard about it or whatever, and you've seen the child not want their parent? They still want their parent. Mm -hmm. They still want their parent, which means children will respond off of anything we give them as long as they getting it. They strive off of negative attention. So if you are fussing and you shouldn't have done that and you don't pee, and, and, and we all have been guilty, um, they're going to learn to respond to that. Yeah, They're going to learn to respond to that. Which is why, again, remember I said earlier, we want to tell them what we want them to do and not what we don't want them to do because they're comprehending what it is. So accidents, I wrote here, uh, fear, flight, fear, fight, or flight. Are we setting them up to feel that way? Are they fearful? Are they, are they just, they, they fighting us? Or they just don't care? Fear, fight, or flight. Based on respond, rejoice, and ready. Respond, rejoice, and ready. They, how they respond to us. And are they rejoicing in that? And they feeling joyful? Are they, and are, are they ready? Like, if you feel that way, you know, most of the time, you know how a child jumps off a curb? And you go, like, oh, big boy, big girl. Look how you jump on that curb. What are they going to do? They're going to step back up. <laughs> and you're like, come on. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna turn around <laughs> because they're gonna respond off of us. They, they. So, what better time to get them to respond if we? <laughs> yes, you walk to that party, whoop, whoop, girl, boy. Even the effort of doing it should be praised. Even the effort of doing it should be praised. Even if they don't make it inside that bathroom. But if you say, potty time, let's go. And they drop what they're doing and they stop. You better come on. Look at you walking to that bathroom. Yes. Turns. He was so proud. Yeah, and that's what you want. That's what you want. We do this thing when one of them um, does, like if Leia say, says, um, I'm just throwing a name out here. If Leia says, if Leia says, Camry, um, Camry PP, everybody's going to get a piece of that. Yeah. Miss Angela Black, like, Camry! In the back room. Miss Michelle in the back, Camry PP! Camry looking around like, I'm a superstar. Yeah. give them that so they they you know because again they're going to exchange energy but it's going to be the same energy we're giving them mm -hmm. and and we don't want that we we have to realize sometimes y'all how easy and quickly we shut our babies down and we want them to respond in a different manner just like us you know relationships you want that reciprocation don't force respect their bodies we teach them early about good touches and bad touches. That is body respect. Potty training, the same thing. We have to respect them, their bodies. If they don't want to go, don't make a big deal out of it. Don't make a big deal out of it because there is 45 minutes. 
Like, give you a minute to do something. Like, oh, you ain't ready? Oh, okay, I ain't ready either. <laughs> <laughs> and keep it pushing. It's not the end of the world, y'all. It takes it takes time. So, with that, if we're supposed to be every 45 minutes to an hour and they don't want to go, do we just wait another two or 45 minutes or whatever? Mm -hmm. And then they have an accident and they pull up when we could have caught it right there, but they didn't want to go. Right. So, how do we, like, get them to go during that time? Like so, that you, just five used, minute? you used two words. You said accident mm -hmm. and catch them. Okay. We don't want to catch accidents. Right. It needs to be purposeful. So if they have an accident, and I understand your question, yeah. if they do have an accident, it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Because again, they're going to respond. If, oh, Camry, since she our superstar tonight. <laughs> Camry, you boo-booed in your panties? Mm -hmm. Well, let's go put that in the toilet. Because that's where it goes. Mm -hmm. But she did it in her yeah, panties. So she, mm -hmm. Association. We don't change her in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. We don't. We watching TV. We don't lay her down on the floor, on the couch, and and lay on her back and make a changing table wherever we are. We're confusing them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and we but do y'all. They can't keep doing the same thing. That this they started. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everything needs to have a balance. Yeah. Yeah. And they cook. Go to the bathroom. Then how am I supposed to watch if I can't lay down? I mean, you, you, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, you're doing it in the bathroom. Oh, do it in the bathroom. So they oh, yeah, we masked it. We changing in the bathroom. I was going to ask that, like, how are y'all doing Oh, I can show, yeah. We, I, we, 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 look, I had to stand y'all. I would sit them on the toilet. Um, And this is why we're going to get to the pull up part in a minute. <laughs> but put them on the toilet. We take the pull-ups um, off the sides, uh -huh. and either they 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 lean back or they lean up. I always take all the wipes and I, I wet them, mm -hmm. and I make them where they ring me, and I can kind of squeeze and let the and let it kind of rinse. But there's a way to pull back and all pull up, and they kind of open up, and you're able to you have to lift them a little sometimes. Mm -hmm. But there's a way to do it to and 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 everything that's in that pull up, I and I say, look, the boo boo goes in the toilet, and they looking like you don't flush the boo boo. Yeah, America celebrates flushing every time she. Comes. Oh yeah, yeah and now. you celebrate with a great Yeah, wipe his own butt. I can't make that so. Oh, my God, he's everywhere. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> good job, mom. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was here, I took the picker. She's like, Mommy, I want my butt. <laughs> because we want to promote independence. Yeah. Now, we're going to go behind them, of course. Yeah. But I, with the girls, all day, front to back. Front to back. Because we know they can get yeast infections, too. Mm -hmm. It's important for them to know. You don't bring anything from the back to the front. Mm -hmm. you irritate, itch, all that stuff. Front to back, drop. That's not what I always say. Front to back, drop. Cause they'll do front to back and they'll bring it back with them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many of them like here. Yeah. <laughs> so I say, we always say front to back drop. <clears throat> front to back drop. <laughs> so they'll drop it. <laughs> and then they'll bring it back like you said. <laughs> yeah, you said. Um, you know, again, calm down mom and dad. Because we don't want to get them to a point where they, again, especially if they're constipated and we don't necessarily know it. Yeah. And we're saying to them, go boo boo, go pee pee. By the way, BM is the last to come. Where? That is the last thing you're going to see them trained with. That nighttime. You that yeah, that's the last thing. BM don't expect them to have a BM in that toilet. Um, anytime soon when they first get started, it's 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 going to it's the last thing to come. It's the last that they develop. Like, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's the last. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here we go with the accident part, and in the in the I'm sorry, the they don't want to go part. They should have an option. 
I know it sounds crazy, right? They don't want to go, they should have an option. Because we have to understand how good it feels to make your own decision. Like we know that as adults. Imagine them as children starting to learn how to make their own decisions, but they have to be the right decisions. So if you don't want to go, it's potty time, potty time, but you don't want to know, I don't want to go. Okay, so we're going to go outside to play or whatever it is. But before we go outside, you have to go to the potty. Mm -hmm. That's an option. Because the other option is if they don't go, because let me tell y'all what we do with y'all little ones. It would be the last one to go outside. Now, we already know they're going outside, right? But what I say is, okay, let me just go to the, go to the next child. And they see the kids going mm -hmm. by them, and they going to the bathroom, and we lining up, getting ready to go outside. And they looking like having a little fit. And I, and I always come back to it. Camry. <laughs> I says, goes, Camry, we're going to go outside. We're going we're gonna to go outside, but I need you to go to the potty first. And then we get to go outside. That is an option. Give them an option. I can't tell you how much that works. <laughs> how much. It's so brilliant. <laughs> but, hey, you're going to go in there and sit with Miss Michelle. And we're going to go outside. We want you to come outside. You don't want to go outside with us? No, yeah, I want to go outside. All right, let's go potty. And they're like, and they go to that bathroom. <laughs> and I said to myself, I don't care how mad you are, you still going to do what I asked you to do. That's another thing, y'all, real quick side note. We don't care that they mad. A child can say no. Let them no, say no. Because <laughs> the first thing we say, a child say no. You don't say no to me. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Look, catch one to ask that question. Because we have had one. Why? <laughs> this thing right here, I got to come up with something. <laughs> but why Why can't they say no? It's a word in the vocabulary. Yeah, and I get it. Respectful. No, I get it. Because I, I get it. Because grandmama was like, no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That didn't, that didn't fly. Not, but they can say no. They can say no. The caveat to that is no still means you have to do what I asked you to do. You can say no. Okay. No? Okay. I'll wait. <laughs> oh, I'm good at waiting. Y'all got to get good at waiting. Because it's a trick. I promise you it's a trick. Oh, okay. I'll wait. And they running around and they doing what they want and they come back. Mm -mm, I don't even see you because I'm waiting. Oh, I love doing that. I love to see them straighten up with that because it's an option. You do have an option, but the option has to be you make the right choice in order you, for you to get what you want. I mean, that's even us in life, y'all. We can't go out there and just do whatever and still get what we want. It, it'll come at a cost. <laughs> It'll come at a cost. So give an alternative. And that a uh, part of that alternative may mean they're wearing a pull-up. Now we're trying to push them out of that. We're trying to get away from those, right? But the fact of the matter is, it's an alternative to go potty. Even though if they go potty in it. But guess where they have to go? If you don't want to go, you, you can keep your pull-up on, but I'm gonna need you to go to the bathroom. Because that's where the pull-up, is. that's what it's for. <laughs> These kids are so sharp, I'm telling you. They will, but we, it's us. It's us. We got to keep them going. We got to keep them going. Um, rewards. Part of that is promoting healthy eating habits. Y'all have to raise your hand. But how, much, how many of us stress eat? <laughs> we have uh, uh, something that we got to have, M&M's, yep. whatever, whatever, something. we stress eating. We eating because it, it feels good, it tastes good, it makes me feel better. Unhealthy eating habits, y'all. Yeah. 
So imagine your child does something great, and every time they do, you giving them a piece of candy, fruit snacks, uh, food of any kind of sort, any type of thing. That is promoting unhealthy eating habits. Because, hmm? I know chips and candy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> chips. Ah, ooh, I ain't gonna start the list. <laughs> but, so what I'm saying is, when they, when, when they do go potty, the reward should not be a food item. Because it's teaching them that if I do great, I go eat. Y'all see the, the correlation? Mm -hmm. So, stickers, um, y'all, you know those big bags, party bags that they put the stuff in the, um, um, in the pinatas, mm -hmm. the gift stuff, the little toys, that's cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the little airplanes, the little whistles, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Not the one with the candy in it. I know where y'all mind went. Y'all went straight to the bag that had all the little bubble gum in it. <laughs> Not that bad. But anything with those little treats and toys, make a treasure box. It can be a shoe box. And call it they, they potty treasure box. When you go potty, you, you, you go in the treasure box. And they, woo, they jockeying for that treasure box. If they have an accident, I want the box, I want the treasure box. Well, no, because you have to boo-boo in the toilet or pee-pee in the toilet, whatever term you use, to go to the treasure box. And they're gonna start relating it. I have to do this to get to that, to get to that. So little toys, um, like I said, stickers, they love stickers. They love stickers. So whatever character your child likes or whatever character you wanna introduce, Get a whole bunch of stickers, and every time they go, my son used to walk around. That brother has power, uh, power range of stickers everywhere. That joker was, he was doing it. Yes, sir. So I'm guessing the treasure box should also be in the bathroom, so that it's like a reminder. No. no. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna take that back. That would be your preference. You could have a little shelf. Fuck them. Hmm. Fuck them. <laughs> treasure box. They kind of got to be old enough to comprehend that. Yeah, like I just threw the treasure box out there just in a zap. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the treasure box. Well, you could call it, you could call it anything. Yeah, that I mean, would relate. My, my thing was with that. Right. She, she I, yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't think she would, your particular little one, oh, would okay. be ready to <laughs> comprehend. I would love more stickers. Yeah. Right, right, right. Stickers. I would stick with stickers. Yeah. As of right now, developmentally, as of right now, now as she gets older, as she gets a little more able to comprehend, especially once she once she got the sticker thing down pat, mm -hmm. and she know when she goes to the toilet, mm -hmm. and she she get a sticker, yeah. mm -hmm. and when and I'm when she doesn't, she doesn't get the sticker. When she can comprehend that, then yeah, I will move to treats and toys, mm -hmm. to, right? To that. Time. So again, right? Because remember, everything I'm saying, we're thinking that. Yeah, yeah. So if a treasure box. Yeah. If yours is not ready and, and can comprehend that, then that wouldn't apply. So, you know, that's why I said I mentioned several things, stickers. Um, and again, you call it what you want. If they're at that a little bit older level, you don't have to call it a treasure box. You can call it the potty box, the potty treat box. How, you know, y'all can name it Miracles Treat Box, your know, um, Patty Girl Box. I don't know. <laughs> it would be good, Miracles. Yeah. So uh, uh, yeah. So remember, everything we're talking about, DAP. We gotta we gotta think what's appropriate for our little one, um, developmentally. So yeah, you're right. So the two, Camry wouldn't be, Miracle yeah. would be, mm -hmm, something like that. Okay, y'all. So we almost at the end of this. Um, we're gonna talk about the defiant trainer, <laughs> the one that just refuses, has no interest. This you, girl, <laughs> has no interest, just seem to could care less. <laughs> it's a bigger deal to you, mommy, than it is to me. I can wet them and <laughs> I don't care. So again, the defiant one. Now this information came from the mom psychologist. And again, I'm gonna share her YouTube channel with y'all. Um, so she talked about 
if they are just refusing. So the first thing she talked about was the fear factor. Why are they refusing? Are they afraid? Some children feel like their being was a part of them. So when they see it come out and hit the water, it's like, where am I? My body. Like, what? They don't understand. Yeah. They're not understanding. They feel like it's a part of their body. The teacher told me that. Like, yeah. Especially the boys is like that. Yeah. 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 So, you know, we have to we have to remember it's not necessarily that they're being defiant or they don't want to. They could be scared to. The bathroom could scare them. Mm -hmm. the, the bathroom could scare them. So one thing that was recommended is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and y'all see this in um, Emma Herb Hubbard. That's the other, um, the, the other trainer that I watch. Um, she suggested, of course, having a step, a two-step. Um, step up to the toilet if yes, they're just using an adult toilet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to let y'all know, we are making changes to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. That is going to happen. Um, we're going to put that. But she suggests no more than two steps. Yeah. Um, and she gives her reasonings and why. So when y'all watch her videos, um, y'all you know see why. Was it. And plus, of course, when they're trying to have a BM, it's better to elevate. To mm -hmm. elevate. Yeah. It's better to elevate. So that's two purposes. It helps them get up there independently. It helps them to feel safe because fear, I'm going to fall. This is big. I can't, you know, fear could be a factor as well. Um, and But it also elevates to help things flow a little better, flow a little better. Um, are they stressed? Are they stressed? Children get stressed out too, y'all. <laughs> They get stressed out. She's like, what you stressed about? You get everything you need. You're big, you're changed, you're stressed out. They could be stressed out because they just want that toy. And they don't know how to handle I can't have that. Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my mind. Because they act like they're losing their mind, don't they? <laughs> but in their little minds, and their little brains, and their little world, this is stressful. If they can put a definition to it. I am stressed out. Mommy, what? Why? <laughs> so they could be. They, they, they could be stressed. Again, we have to remember everything that goes on around their little world is controlled by us. Yeah. So if we had a bad day, if we short and snappy or we arguing and we fussing, it happens. Communication is broken down and, and things aren't. They're hearing it. They're feeling it. They're seeing it. How many times has your child ever come to you and sat in your and just kind of rubbed your face? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'd be like, oh, that's so cute. Thank you. That baby's like, girl, you all right? <laughs> 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 that's what happened. He's trying to figure out. He's like, you're mad. <laughs> right. How should I move in here? Because that brother just caught it. Daddy, come here, man. Come here. <laughs> You all right? <laughs> so they feel those things too. So changes. Remember, fam family changes does not have to necessarily be something negative. A move. Um, dinner was late. We got home late. It's a change. Children move off of all of that. They move off of all of that. Doesn't mean we have to tiptoe, y'all. Because at a certain age, remember that, they have to learn how to deal with conflict. But we have to teach them how to deal with conflict. And for their level, that conflict is they fighting over one toy because they have super egos. We had a little boy that came in one day. He said he had a t-shirt on. If I see it, it's mine. If I want it, it's mine. If I look at it, it's mine. If I touch it, it's mine. <laughs> that shirt went on and on and I loved it. But that is how they feel and think. So we say all the time, don't share. You have to do share. <laughs> Y'all know a kid's brain is not capable of sharing until they're five. Wow. They're not capable of. So you take them to the park and make out a toy, it is okay for them not to share that book. Right. Oh, share with your friends. No. Because no. I wish somebody would ask me to drive my car. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, we don't want to always force sharing, which is in our environment, we're required to have more than one. But still, it can look the exact same. And they like, uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want that one. Right. But it's a process of teaching them, um, you know, but sharing, <laughs> they're not even comprehending that. <laughs> like, what is that? They're telling me foreign words. I ain't no mama spoke Japanese. <laughs> um, de being defiant, we got to be sure they're ready. That death, we got to be sure they're ready. All children are not the same. They're not going to train the same. They're not, their process is not going to be the same. Um, positive reaction. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. When you go potty, then you can give them options. If they don't want to, they have, they're learning to choose. So, okay, we're getting ready to go. Now, if you want to rush and you're trying to get out of the house, I know it's like, I don't have all day to wait, but you're going to have to go before we leave. Then, you know, we, we, we have to be creative. You know, come up with your own little thing that you know gets your child to move, you know. But just, just try to be creative with it. Um, last resort, y'all. Um, stop, step back, take a break, try again later. <clears throat> that may mean waiting a few days. That may mean I'm putting on the calendar in two weeks, we're going to start over again. And I'm not going to mention nothing about potty training to him or her for those two weeks. We're going to start over just like whether they are two years old or three years old. I, I, I stressed in my mind to say four, but it's, <laughs> it, happens. it happens. It happens. Cause we don't, we have to consider what's surrounding our four year old. What is going on um, that could be causing them not to be. We had a little girl, <laughs> she was, a, she was so definitely afraid of the bathroom y'all. She hollered. She 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 looked in the door like. <laughs> it was no, literally. It was switched from bathroom to bathroom. She'd be good with one bathroom, and she'd go in that one for about a week, and then all of a sudden, it wasn't the other one. Yeah, it was something about that. This it. whole thing with um, a zombie face in the toilet on YouTube, skippy toilet, and I kept. I, I was wondering, knowing her, knowing her people, that's not what it was. She just had an innate fear and still kind of does. Mm -hmm. So a good suggestion to you all, always think to replace something with something else. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want them doing a certain thing, find something to kind of replace it and trade off. Yeah. Um, as opposed to telling them no. no. Yeah. No, because we are... <laughs> We already know. The more you tell them no, they're going to do The more they... are eager to do it. Either. But replacing. Mm -hmm. If we tell them no about something, we want to find something to, you know, so what was that? Zombie Skippy? What was it? <laughs> you was a zombie, so I said, let's start watching Skippy. No, what is it called? Skippy Toilet. Yeah, so no, you can't watch Skippy Toilet or, or just ease mm -hmm. Skippy Toilet out and, and put something in its place. Yeah, yeah they, they respond so much better. I promise y'all, keep that. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> Come by 32 and I had to learn, boy. Don't tell that boy nothing. <laughs> um, so, also, the, the mom psychologist is going to give some tips on the video that I'm going to share with y'all. She's going to give some tips. Five ways to know they are not ready. And the, 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 the takeaway from all of this, y'all, is we have to be sure they're ready. Don't rush them. Because the more we rush, the longer it will take. It is very possible to potty train your child in three days. I was going to ask if there was like a time slot in which we should expect. No. 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 Yeah. Because every child is different. Mm -hmm. And remember the DAP concept. But three days, it is very possible. It is very possible to happen in three days. That requires 
and clear your calendar schedule. Don't go to work. We not going out the house. We stay no seriously. In one, stay in one room. Seriously, it, it it's a grind out, but it works. It works for some. It works. So this is what we say at Donna's Love and Care when we're talking about potty training. Y'all have to start. We will not start this process for y'all. That means we're going to ask, when can you commit to take a weekend and do nothing but potty training? Make it a special event for them. Let them know it's coming up. Make a big deal out of it. Um, Nasir's party weekend, Nasir's weekend, Camry's weekend, Miracle's weekend, Tafari's weekend, um, uh, Lord Jesus, uh, Delilah's weekend, and make it a big deal coming up. Even if we've started, we even if we've started and we putting them on the pot, my my what I'm asking of you all is to nix. And we're going to start from scratch together. But again, it's different times, different children. It depends on your child. I want y'all to please do the, um, the potty test, the potty check to see the test. I'm going to give you, I'm going to put it in the app. Okay. Um, take the test and see if your child is ready. Okay. These things right here. We hate them. Because <laughs> it's comfortable for them. Pull-ups are a glorified pamper. But because of the environment we're in, we 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 have to have something to give some absorption, right? Mm -hmm. So when we do start, and when y'all do start, um these items right here. This is this picture. These are the plastics. Uh -huh. These are the plastics. These these pictures right here are are these. And the fruit of loom that they slick. They're so cute though. <laughs> so the fruit of the loom, if you look at it in the middle. Yeah. Mad absorbency. Yeah. The fruit of the loom? Yeah. Yeah. But the fruit of the loom, the difference in these, that not these. Well, which one of these? Oh, these are terry cloth middle. Okay, okay, okay. So the ones that I was looking for, um, these, um, neither one of these are these right here. Okay. But these technically would be this, but the thickness goes all the way. It's the thickness. Y'all seen them? Mm -hmm. That's like the old diaper. Yes. That is the diaper. What's that brand? Those are Gerber. This is uh, this is Gerber. Mm -hmm. Gerber does have, but. Um, Those are yeah. Uh, anything on the board is Gerber except for the bullet. So right. those are Gerber. Now this one is the all-in-one, meaning it's this and this already put together. When you buy it, it's already together. It's it's sewn and everything. It's one piece. Mm -hmm. It's already together. That's so the all-in-one. We can stop paying my campus and do this. I mean pull-ups and do this. We'll wait. Okay. <laughs> Be because honestly, this is the preference. We would prefer when we're talking about training full force, we all in it together. Mm -hmm. We all in it together. Now we still request these. Now mind you, we have, you see this one. This is not just for a picture. This is the brand y'all have to get. It's the pull-ups pull brand. brand. On what? On, on what? The actual pull-ups. I'm going to tell you y'all why. I'm going to show y'all. And I mean, y'all, uh, yeah. I'm going to show y'all. For those that already buy these. Yeah. Oh. Wait, wait. Let me do it again. Oh. <laughs> this makes our life so much easier. And it also helps your child when we're training. Because remember, we're changing them in the bathroom. Remember what I told y'all about that process? I wish I had a dog. So what other ones do they have? Oh, the they one? have the ones that don't. Once well, you well, stretch them, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 So they have to have a rib on the side. Okay. Because the one you got now is not this brand. I just bought something small. And that one just. 
Yeah, the ones he's wearing, the ones he's wearing in are perfect. Okay, I was gonna ask you where you got those because they're not those are like twenty dollars a box. Where at Kroger's? Okay, well, we, and we'll, I just got it at the moment. Put I it in the app for me, and I'll make sure everybody misses. I have to look at his book. I was going to ask him some of the books because I seen him, and I was like, wait. But but the, the request okay, you all, know, if you buy if you're buying the, 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 the ones. You're buying the ones or you previously have bought the ones that don't do this and can come back, please, no. Yeah, I just bought some yesterday. <laughs> well, well, um. Maybe use those overnight. Yeah. Yes. yes. If you could use them, oh, thank you. <laughs> you can do the word right out of my mouth. <laughs> yes. If you could save them and use them at home, that would be great. That would be great. But let me say this, y'all. What you do at home is what we need to do here. Yeah, exactly. And what we do here, yes. you need to do at home. But remember, remember, you're going to take the test. We're going to see if we're even there. Even if you started, I still I take the test, see if your child is even there. And then we will individually have a discussion about starting, what is required of y'all to do first. Mm -hmm. and, and we just keep the train rolling, home and school. I believe that concept and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Home and school. Um, we we <coughs> try to be on the same page because it even helps with discipline. If they know that what 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 Miss Donna said is what Mommy said or what Daddy said because, is what Miss Donna said, they'll have very much room. I'm glad y'all doing the because. every hour to two hour one because that. 15 to 30 minutes is yeah. really stressing me out. I don't know yeah. how that. We're going to move around like this. I can't yeah, do that. Yeah, you can. You can. And again, yeah, when you learn better, you you know, mm -hmm. you do better. I haven't wrote the news to my mom yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with it. Still, like, you know, 30 minutes. I'm sorry. I'm getting stressed out. I'm sorry. Like, okay. You can't I'm control the weather like that. that. You can't control the bladder mm -hmm. like that. But yeah. when we get to the point, um, and of course, you're going to hear and read different things. It's your child. You have to know what works for them. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, Miss Sylvia is my mom. Mm -hmm. Y'all missed that part that mm -hmm. she gave the whole no, party training? No, I know about Okay, okay. <laughs> I guarantee she going to argue me that. No, you didn't tell them people. They don't take their babies 15 minutes. <laughs> like, Sylvia, calm down, mom. <laughs> but um, you have to learn what works best. But again, we can't, we can't change science and the development of a bladder inside of a body. I don't care how much you love your baby. You cannot <laughs> set their bladder size. But that's a trial and error process. If you know your child drinks a lot uh, during the day, and they're going to go to the bathroom, and they're going, and, and one last thing I forgot to mention, y'all. If they stay dry at least an hour, that's a sign that they are ready. If they're staying dry one to two hours, no accidents, no, they went outside to play, they everything, and they're not wet, that, that's one sign. But I need y'all to take that test. Right. Okay. Take that you test. Say you put that test in the app for I will. I'll, I'll, put the, I'll put her website on for the app, and I'll put the two names that you can go to YouTube and just watch. I, I went down a rabbit hole. I was just watching video after video. I was like, this woman is good. And then we went to another one. And, and so those are the two that really stood out to me. Um, but if y'all find another one that y'all think is good, share it in the app and I'll share it with the other parents. Cause y'all know when y'all put stuff in the app, it just comes to just us. Mm -hmm. So if you share it in the app and say, hey, share this with the other parents, then you know, we'll share it with the other parents. But. So did anybody have any questions, any comments, any? But again, it's gonna be an individual thing. So your child may need these sooner than your child. You know, but it'll be an individual conversation of, of what, what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do. And just start thinking about that weekend you're gonna give up. <laughs> it's worth it. It's worth it. Economically, it's gonna be worth it. Time-wise, it's gonna be worth it, and and their little self-esteem boost is gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Yeah. So, any questions? Um, but remember that that developmentally appropriate practices. Donna.